So I'll tell you a story about an executive who didn't believe in his team. During the sales process for me going in and working with, with this company, the guy who was in charge said, my team's just not creative enough. I'm like, yeah, I just don't know that I could get creativity from my team. I just, I don't know what you can say back to that. I was taken aback. I didn't think anybody would ever say something like that in front of their team. So when they've already been told they've not been creative. How am I gonna work with this? It turned out to be much easier than I thought it would be. So when we're in that room, it's, it's about Vegas rules. What happens in that room stays in that room. Then things open up pretty quickly. If you wanna say how the organization is doing things completely wrong right now, say it. If we don't know where the problems are, we can't fix them. So we did some ideation exercises, got them to write down on pieces of paper potential solutions to some of these little pain points, then share those with everybody else. And the first couple of times, people are kind of embarrassed by their solutions. The second time around, they're all kind of really proud of their solutions and trying to sell everybody else on how theirs should be the thing that everybody should do. At this point, we're still kind of broadening the, the spectrum of what could be possible. Some of them are things you could never build in software, but who cares? It's time to start pulling this stuff back together to something you can build. That involves building paper prototypes, sticky notes, sharpie pens, sticky tape, be creative, just enough to show the concepts so that we can then get some of the real users to test it out for us. When you come back with the executive walking into the room at the end, I make the team present what they've done. And they never even had to mention, yeah, we are creative. He could see that from the solution. He was blown away. It's amazing to see that kind of response from people who apparently can't be creative. So yeah, afterwards we'll sanitize that message, but for when we're working in that room, honesty and respect for each other. That's all that's important.